It's been a sad and emotional couple of days at our National Zoo after a fox was able to sneak into a bird exhibit and kill 25 flamingos and one duck. Zookeepers made the awful discovery yesterday morning. News 4's Adam Tuss reports. Today's staffers are trying to make sure this doesn't happen again because the fox still hasn't been caught. <laughs> In a flash, over two dozen American flamingos and one northern pintail duck gone. We had this, you know, big flock of, you know, different age flamingos in there. So it's devastating for ours. It's devastating for our staff. It's de devastating for our public, devastating for these animals for this to happen. It happened sometime between Sunday night and Monday morning as the fox was able to squeeze through a softball sized hole near the exhibit and then find the birds. Zookeepers arrived to find the dead birds and saw the fox, which ran away. That fox has still not been caught. Brandy Smith, the director of the National Zoo, says an attack like this has never happened here, and staff is shaken by it. If a fox got through this mesh, then we're going to have to figure out a way to change out all of the mesh uh, throughout the habitat. Word has been spreading around the zoo about what happened. Sad. I mean, it's really sad. I mean, and... That's crazy that they even were able to get, you know, that close to the animals without any type of barriers, anything like that, to protect them. Tweets offering condolences also pouring into the news about what happened to these birds. One of the questions a lot of people have is, will this impact any operations here at the zoo? Well, the birdhouse was already closed for renovations here, you see, so it's not like you could even get into this area in the first place. When something like this happens, do you worry about that particular animal coming back and trying to do something like this again? We do worry because the animal has learned how to be successful. The animal has learned something. Now, the area around the bird enclosure was last inspected Sunday afternoon and nothing was out of place. But by Monday, the damage had been done. Extra mess protection and video monitoring is now in place around the flamingo exhibit. The remaining birds have also been moved inside and traps have been set to try to catch the fox. Zoo staff says if you want to help, simply come and enjoy the zoo like you always have. At the National Zoo, Adam Tuss, News 4. Boy, it is so sad. The zoo has 49 other flamingos still there. Well, 